gang. I want to show you what I've uh, what I was using there. I've got this little contraption <laughs> on my finger. I was using to play part of the opening. It's called the Pick Slinger. It was sent to me by Brina Healy uh, at www.pickslinger.com, and she's also on Facebook. Um, it's a pretty cool idea, and I think it was really developed more for shredders and for tapping and things like that to uh, you know to free up your your finger to uh, your fingers to do. You know, tapping or whatever. Um, and still have your pick at the ready without worrying about dropping it ever. So it's a nice little alternative to... Um, I had a video a little while ago showing, showing the hide a pick trick. Where is it? Up, up there. Um, showing the hide a pick trick. And that works great, but you certainly can drop the pick or uh, not have it so easily at the ready. And with this thing, you won't drop it. That's guaranteed. Anyway, so let me show you how to set it up and, uh, and then we'll show a little bit how to play with it. <laughs> okay. All right, gang, so here's the pick slinger. Here's the package that it came in. And uh, like I said, you can check it out at www.pickslinger.com or uh, they're also on Facebook. So you can uh, look up that on Facebook. Um, anyway, uh, reading the back, it's easily to easily fit and comfortably worn. Sling your pick to tap, slap, or finger pick faster than ever before. Never search for a pick again, ever. Use your pick or ours with new adhesive pick holder included. Uh, develop your learning style faster and easier. Pick Slinger is a six-way adjustable to fit every player. It certainly does fit, although it takes a little bit of time to do it. Uh, let me show you what's in here. So I did unbox this, um, but I'll show you pretty much what's in the box. Um, so let's open it up first. A uh, couple of nice business cards uh, from Brina. <laughs> okay, thanks, Brina. Um, and uh, some actually very helpful directions. Um, let me see if I can get those out. Ugh. There we go. So there's uh, this, and then it has, which is a little insert, and then it has full directions on how to uh, how to fit and wear how to fit and wear your pick slinger. There it is, and they are pretty uh, explicit, so they're easy to uh, to see and so forth, easy to read. Um, and we'll show you just briefly how to set it up. And then it comes with the pick slinger itself and uh, two picks. <laughs> All right, anyway, but the pick slinger itself, as you can see, is like this little, it's like a little holder on your finger, right? You fit that around your finger, and then it's a piece of plastic with some stops, a stop at the, at the one end and a stop at this end. So you can, um, in theory, you can cut it. I haven't done this, and this would probably help it fit even better and make me uh, turn it around even quicker. But um, it has a stop on this end, and you can adjust this end, and then you can cut the length of this at the top. And then, on this side, this looks like a pick, but it's actually just a piece of plastic. This comes out. You kind of put that away. And it comes with um, three of these little... Let's see if I can take this out. Oh. Yeah, that's a little better. Um, it comes with uh, three of these little hockey stick <laughs> sort of adhesives, okay? These little things, and they stick in the end of the pick slinger like this, okay? That's how they work. And what you do is you attach a pick on this, and it's got this, uh, underneath this little red uh, piece of tape, um, it has some adhesive, and uh, so it has three of these. One that, that with a pick that it came on, one with a pick that I put on, and it came with a pick. Um, the pick that it came on um, was a one millimeter Tortex. I use a thicker pick than that, um, so I wanted to test it with some thicker ones. This is a two millimeter uh, Tortex uh, pick, and it works well with that. Uh, we're going to try it on an Ultex as well. Um, but anyway, and then this just fits in. Uh, this just fits in this slot right here, and there we go. And so now we've got the sling, and uh, let's see if I can show you. It fits like this, and so forth. And when you want to pick, you do this. When you want to finger pick or tap, you do this. You move it back like that. Perfect. Um, so 
A uh, couple of different things. Let's uh, let's set one of these up, and I'll show you how to do it. It is a little bit it is a little bit tricky to get the right fit, but it takes some it takes some time, uh, but eventually it works. And uh, what I can tell you is, uh, if I can do it, you can pro it'll probably fit you much better because I have a I have a funny picking style. I f I I forward slant my pick. I, I hold it sort of like Van Halen does, although I hold it between this finger, not not these fingers, but. Uh, I hold it kind of straight instead of the usual pick that uh, picking that people do. <laughs> anyway, there we are. Uh, instead of doing this, I do this. So if it fits me, it's going to fit you for sure. Okay, uh, let's fit one on here. Whoops. Let's fit a uh, let's fit one of these on here. So basically, all you really do is. You take the uh, you take this tape off, and then you I don't see it's it's on there pretty well. Take some time to get this tape off here. Come on, you little bugger! It's actually good that it's on here really solidly because otherwise it wouldn't be very good adhesive, right? Okay, anyway, they say it's good, but really I'm kind of stalling for time. I want this to be done now. It's one of those things that once it's off, you're glad it was on so well. <laughs> there you go. Okay, got it off of there. Now let me see if I can find the pick that I'm going to use. Now, I, I did try it with a really small pick. I tend to use like jazz size picks. Um, and I found that this was just, it didn't quite work well for those. I felt a little bit bothered by the size of this, uh, of this little adhesive. But this is what you do. You just kind of stick on the pick onto this. And then you can adjust it any way you see fit. Uh, so I'm just going to stick it like this on here. It's clear so you can see right through it. Okay, and then we're going to stick it into the, pull out the other one. We're going to stick it into our pick slinger, like so. And there we go, and there we go. And it's not quite right for me, not yet. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust it. I'm going to adjust the, the tip of the pick a little bit this way. And so it's really pretty easy to do. You, you do have to pull off the adhesive, move this around just a little bit. And that's not quite there either. There we go. There we go. All right, so that one now fits. That one now fits me. Okay, and I've got it on there, and I've got my pick slinger all ready. Let's try it out. All right, I've got my pick slinger all fitted out, and uh, let's, I think it fits pretty well. So let's give it a shot. Um, let's give it a shot. We'll do the picking first. <laughs> too terrible. I have to say it does take about 20 minutes of picking uh, to get used to it because there's a little bit of a thing on the back right where you feel the stick and uh, it takes a little time to get used to it and maybe adjust it a little bit more. Um, but when you get it in, when you dial it in, works pretty well. All right, let's try the finger picking.
right. Pretty neat. Definitely don't need to worry about dropping your pick, and you've got it right there if you want to do a little Travis picking or finger picking, or if you're a shredder and you want to do tapping, all that stuff works out great. And um, anyway, it's a nice little thing uh, to check out and try out. www.pickslinger.com or uh, check them out on Facebook. Okay. Thanks, Brina. We'll see you on down the road.